Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss how to get the input value using scanner class. As usual, we'll start with import keyword. It is used to import the package in the program. So Java dot Java is the main package. To get the input value using scanner, we have to import util package because scanner class is present inside util package. So here, if you are giving scanner here, it will import only the scanner class from the util package. If you are giving star, it will not import only scanner class. It will import all the classes which is present inside the package called util. Fine. Now I'll give the class. Class name as main. I'll give curly braces and then the execution of the program always starts from the main method. So the main method is public static void main string args. Okay. Fine. Now to get the input value from the user, we have to define the scanner class. We have to create an object for the scanner class because to get an integer value only with the help of an object called next int I can get. So if I want to get a string, I have to use a next method. So these methods are present inside the class called scanner. So to access these methods, I need an object. So I have to create an object for which class scanner class. Scanner is the class. This is called object name. Yes, see, I'm going to give the object name here. New keyword helps us to allocate memory to this object and scanner. So here system dot in system is the class in is the input stream which is used to get the input value from the keyboard. Okay. Yes. So I have defined the class. So that is the thing about scanner class. Now I want to get an integer value. If I want to get an integer value, I'll take a variable called a of type integer. I am giving equal to. So when I give equal to the right hand side value will be assigned to the left hand side. So with the help of the scanner class object SC, I'm going to get the integer value. How can I get the integer value? With the help of the method called next int. So the next int method is present inside scanner class. To access this method, I need to have an object. So I have created an object. So sc dot next int. I'm getting an integer value from the user that I'm going to store it in the variable called a. So to check whether it is an integer value, I have to print and check system dot out dot print a. Let's run the code now. Yeah, we'll give the input value as 10. So here we have got the output value as 10. So to check whether this 10 is an integer or not, it can be a string, right? So to check that I'm going to add a plus a. So if I give the input value as 10, I have to add 10 plus 10. So the output should be 20. Yes, I have got an integer value. Now I want to get a float value. If I want to get a float value, what should I do? Float f is equal to sc dot next float. I have to use the method called next to float. It gets a float value from the user and that will be stored in the variable called f. So to check that I'll print f. Let me save the code. Let's run the code now. So first I'm getting an integer value called 10. It is adding 10 plus 10, 20. Yes, it is printed. Now I'm giving a floating point value. So I'll give 3.234. Yes, 3.234. I have got the float value also. Now I want to get a double value from the user. So because we have the difference with the float and double data type, both are used to get the decimal values, but the range it gets varied. Float will get six digits, double will get 15 digits. So double D is equal to SC dot next to double. So the method next to double helps to get the double value from the user. I'll print this system dot out dot print D. Let's run the code now. 10, it is getting 20. I'm getting float value. Yes, it's fine. I'm going to get the decimal value. See, more than six digits, if you want to get after decimal point, you have to use the double data type. Fine, now I have got this. Now I want to get a string value from the user. So if I want to get a string, I have to give string here. String is not a data type, it is a class. So I'll give yes is equal to sc dot next. Okay. Let me give system dot out dot. I'll give yes. Let me save the code. Let me run the code once again. 
so i'm going to get an integer value 10 it's fine float value 3.342 3342 double value 15 point some digits after six digits yes it is working fine and then i'm going to give a string hello see i have got hello i have printed now i want to get a character so how can i get a character here if you want to get a character you have to take a data type called cat ch is equal to sc dot next so here if i want to get a character i have to use a method called next so what is the use of next method it is used to get a string value from the user from the string i need to get only first character alone so for that char at of zero because index value always starts from zero right so from the object sc next the complete word in that complete word i want to get only one character that is the first character so i'll give caret of zero so i'll print and i'll check whether it is getting a character or not ch okay let's run the code now i'm getting an integer value it's working fine i'm getting a float value 3.4234 yes it's working fine i'm getting a double value 14 point i'm getting more than six digits yes it is working fine i have to get a string hello yes it is working fine i'm getting a character called yes yes it is working fine so all the data types i'm getting as the input value from the user with the help of a scanner class now here we will be facing one challenge i'll tell you what is that when i go for string i'm getting a word okay now let me remove all these things now let me get only string data type alone okay so when i go for string string s equal to sc dot next and then i'm printing the string system dot out dot print yes fine let me save this and let me run the code now i'm going to give hello see i'm getting the output value fine now instead of one what i'm trying to get two words which is nothing but a sentence i can say so more than a word we call this sentence right which is separated by a space i'm going to get the input value as hello world when i try to get the input value as hello world i'm getting only hello as the input value why because the next method helps us to get the input value of a word alone whenever a space is occurred it stops getting the input value and it goes so to avoid this if you want to get a sentence or if you want to get more than one word you have to use the method called next line you have to use the method called next line it helps us to get a sentence as the input value from the user let me run the code now here i'll give hello world see i have got the output value as hello world if i want to get a word as input value from the user i can use a method called next if i want to get a sentence or more than a word i have to use the method called next line that's all